Welcome back. You're watching Network Africa on Channels Television. Now, the Black Queens have emerged victorious in the 2015 African Games after a brilliant success against Cameroon thanks to a unique goal. The game was said to have been a really tough one for both sides, but the last minutes were crucial for the Ghanaian players. In the 87th minute of the game, Portia Buanke opened the score thanks to a great volley. The Cameroonian goalkeeper couldn't do much to stop the ball. And Ivory Coast also won the bronze medal after winning against Nigeria in a 2-1 score. Well, we'll have our analyst, I'm saying analyst, we'll actually have our sports correspondent join us in just a moment. But let's just have a quick look at what the what is happening concerning the doping issue in the sports world. Now, according to what we know, the World Anti-Doping Agency is saying that the agent that they hope to receive a much awaited report on allegations of the of widespread doping in sports initially expected this month now they're expecting that report by the end of mid-november we, we gave a mandate to the independent commission and asked them if they would complete their work their investigation and file their report with us before the end of this year we hope they can do it well prior to the end of the year because we have a board meeting in mid-november and we would certainly like our board members to be able to discuss the report at that occasion. At, at the present, there is a controversy which involves athletics. Uh, I think it would be unfair to concentrate on, on any one sport. Uh, it's probably better if we said, look, there are problems out there in, in sport. Uh, there are issues that we need to address with the various sports, and we're doing that. At the present, uh, athletics is in the limelight. Uh, athletics is the sport which needs some assistance and we're going to give them uh, that assistance after we receive this report. Well, joining me in studio is our sports correspondent, Yemi Adebayo. Yemi, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, it was a pleasure to be here, Cynthia. And now, just before we go to the, the, the good news, let's just discuss what, was just, what we yeah. just saw uh, right now. Do you think it's realistic to get this report by mid-November, or do you, at, at the same time, I also must ask, do you think that it's been, that's taken too long to get this report? Well, it's not too long, you know, when you do things, you have to do them right, you know, and I must say here that, you know, the spotlight is on athletics, but, you know, the problem cuts across all sports, and that, that's why you heard, heard the, the water official there saying that um, they, they have to clean up sports. You, you also hear about football now, that there are some accusations flying around that, you know, top players in European football spike the system. So it's not just uh, athletics, but we expect the focus to be on athletes. And it's, it's of concern to you and I because mm -hmm. some of the Africans that did so well at the IAAF World Championship yes. in Beijing, some of them might just be, I hope not, but might just be in the spotlight for the, for the wrong reasons yes. when the results do come out in mid-November because, you know, it's going to be comprehensive and it's going to be thorough. Now, it's not going to be as if, oh, you know, some, some things were tampered with or, you know, somebody spied something. Mm. A comprehensive results will be out uh, by November. So we'll put our hands and wait for what happens. Mm. But, but, but I don't think it's too late. I don't think it's too late. If you okay, now to the more, you know, to the happier news. Yep. Uh, um, how did the hosts do? That's um, Congo, Brazzaville, in yeah. the African games that just concluded what two days ago not badly if you ask me <laughs> if my opinion counts for anything to you yes it does um <laughs> not badly um like every any any other african team the, the, the facilities were ready. But the problem basically with, with, with us Africans, maybe with the exception of South Africa and maybe one or two North African countries, I wouldn't also say that now because of what, what just happened, there's political instability. The problem with us basically is planning. We can get the facilities ready. We can spend all the money in the world. But you see, for multi-sport events and hosting big things, there's the before and the after. Mm -hmm. You plan things. You, you consider technology. You consider your economy. You're not just going to take money from your economy. You, ha you have to look at the effects. And I think that, that is where the superpowers, you know, or the advanced countries do have an advantage over us. Like, for instance, now I hear one of the stadiums used for the uh, African Games, that's what it's called now, by the way, uh, one of the stadiums costs 640 billion Central African francs. Which is uh, what, in dollars? What do you think? 
Yeah, uh, well, not let's forget about that. Not staggering, not as staggering okay. as it sounds uh, in dollars. But if you still ask me, I'll say that, that that was that was too much. But you know, at the end of the day, they had one or two issues. They had issues with with the media. You know, uh, there was when you go to a game, media is key. Because that's the gateway. That's the people who disseminate the information. So they, they had issues with the media. They weren't properly, uh, you know, provided for. They, they had issues with the electricity supply uh, no. as well. And you know, if you were watching the final, it was you know, it was a damp now, sort of. Yes. You know, and when you talk about planning as well, you look at the final. When the rains came down heavily, everything just crashed. So now, what, what what is going to um, if we're going to measure progress? Now, I think we must have seen some improvement whatsoever, yeah, no matter yeah. how little. Mm -hmm. But my question is, what can we do better? I think you're, based on what I, what I can take from what you're saying, it's better planning, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if you consider South Africa, I hate to see this, but I have to. Look at South Africa. The only African country that I think, in my opinion, that can conveniently host a multi-sport event. They've hosted the World Cup. They've hosted the Rugby World Cup. They've hosted lists of you know, international tournaments. What, I'm, what I mean to say is, it's planning. Mm -hmm. You don't just wake up and say, I need one billion. <laughs> There's the before and the after. And, and that's what most governments do not do. Yes. The, uh, Mozambique were the hosts of the last edition. Alrighty. Go and check out the, the, the facilities used. It's well, well, you have to join us again in studio because I'm well. being told to wrap up. <laughs> okay. me, thank you so much for yeah. joining us. Our question of the day is, do you think President Yuri Museveni of Uganda will win the 2016 elections? Feel free to send us your your feedback either via email or twitter the address and handle are right there on your screen thank you so much for watching network africa right here on channels television i'm cynthia are